The loud clattering woke Laura with a quick, heart-thumping start, quietly slipping out of bed and pressing her ear against the nearby door. She held her breath and simply listened. Heavy footsteps down the hall, in the kitchen. They would stop intermittently, followed by the sounds of cabinets opening and drawers sliding in and out. More quickly, heavy footsteps again, rinse, repeat. She kept herself quiet and restrained. Whomever it was, it didn't sound like they were planning to stay long, nor were they even attempting to muffle their movements. Their food was being taken. She was certain of it. Laura immediately began to think back on the scavenging run, the actions Luke took, the route they took home. Never the same way twice, never in the same amount of time to get home. Those were the two rules both Laura and Luke put into place after their first encounter with a stranger. No. She was absolutely certain they hadn't been followed home. Her thoughts were cut short as the footsteps grew closer, and the clattering ceased. Whomever it was finished in the kitchen and began to move this way. She dropped to her hands and knees and crawled over to the bedside, stretching her arm underneath and pulling a bat quickly, holding it close to her chest. A final heavy step as a sliver of a shadow covered what little light bled under her door. Laura took a deep breath to warn him, to shout not to come in and leave. But before the words left her lips, the creak of an old bedroom door whined in the silence. The shadow quickly darted from her door. There was a muffled voice followed by an inaudible shout, silenced instantly by two gunshots. A third, Laura thought. How quickly Luke was willing to kill settled deep into the pit of Laura's stomach. But that too would be cut short as the sounds of running grew distant and the slamming of the front door followed suit. Her eyes widened and reality began to sink in. The night is still young, and while Laura has a list of priorities to take care of, first, she's gonna give herself a little hope. A break and a smile in an otherwise dying world. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. And that little bit of hope she's going to give herself is the gas. I did a little something off camera. I moved the generator. Hooray! Uh, I ended up popping it in here because uh, I don't know if this is better, but I feel like keeping it in here might help muffle the sound. So we're going to go ahead and throw the fuel in here. And all I want to do is test it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw red. I saw red. We'll fill the building with toxic fumes when operated here. Does that mean just here or does that mean my whole home? Also, I'm hearing noises. Yep, hello. Where'd you come from? Madam? Hello? Madam? Not sure where you came from, why you're here. We don't really want any of your whatever it is company, I guess. Very sorry. We're starting to get anxious. Let's just look. Yeah, that group is still there. They'll they'll always be there. All right. Well, since it's not going to be something we want to have in the garage, I thought I was being a genius, and so did Laura. But she read the she read the the warning label uh, on the generator before kicking it up, and was like, "All right, maybe not." Don't remove the curtains. Why? Just take the generator. 
Okay. We'll quickly move it back out where we had it. Somewhere over here anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Stop overthinking it, Mathis. Connect. And now turn on. This will be a test at the very least. Well, the lights popped on right away. We're going to have to turn that right off. Uh, turn that off. Thank you. This will be a quick test to see if... Uh, ooh, we might be able to wash our clothes. Require a source of water? Wait, no. Did the water go out? Did the water go out sincerely between last episode and this one? Ah. Oh. Oh, we can't wash our clothes. That was like the big thing. I'm like, wait, why? And I'm assuming the refrigerator is fine. I ate the ice cream, so I don't know. Ah, man. I have also reorganized everything here, so don't worry. Uh, I'm going to keep this. And then just equip this as secondary. Well, what a bummer. This episode, however, is going to take kind of a sharp turn. I think I heard a, a hissing. Alright, let's eat this. I wanted to keep working on self-defense and defending our little home here, but I keep saying it and I never, I'm not going through with it, and now the food supplies are starting to show it. Um, we need, we need to go getting some food badly. So that's what we're going to have to do. And that's going to be the focus of today. I'm just going to have to swing up to the city to do it, I think. Though I'm a little concerned about doing that. Also, the fly problem is getting rough. Uh, there's a lot of them happening, and I think we're going to need to start digging some graves. I'm told a grave can hold up to five bodies. So if that's the case, we'll definitely start prepping some graves. I don't know if I want to use the car. I also don't know if this is the way I want to go, but let's let's do it. Maybe we won't go toward the city. It didn't seem like the ambulance did all that much, if anything at all, to mess with the hordes. So I'm not really confident in the, the safety of actually going up that way. We'll, we'll peek it, because I'd like to. And it's going to be a bit of a walk, unfortunately, but we'll give it a shot. And I'm hoping it won't be so bad. I already read both of those. But if we come across big hordes, we may need to detour and try out a different area. Which isn't necessarily something that's going to get us killed, it's just... We have to be ready. What? Oh, most of the groups are... Either they respawned or they came back. Alright, we need to go into crouch mode. I well, it's dark. Well, we made it in. It was a bit of a walk. But we're here. Towards the back, I took a roundabout way to avoid some packs that I saw. But, this is going to be our best bet to finding a lot of food. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, that we'll be able to at least come away with fuller bags and days worth of food. And we seem to be struggling maintaining just that. We got our pipe wrench out. I'm going to try and push her over if I can. Though she'll probably smell me beforehand. Come on, on the ground. There we go. I'll just stomp on her. No key here. Any of these might have a kitchen. I know over the furthest one, Lolly's, is an actual a clothing store. There's an ice cream shop right here. But I don't know how useful ice cream will be. So we'll just do a little bit of this action. Okay. Let's be quick. I'll take both of those. Okay, I want to get out of here, man. I don't like the sounds of Zeds that close to me. And there's no real exit. Uh, well, let's actually pop into each one of these. If we can be lucky enough to have a kitchen in one of them, that is... Nope. That is uh, something we can loot from. I'll take it. Also locked. All of these are unfortunately locked. Did I check this body? 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, a 36 revolver. That's a tiny gun? I don't- that's like a six-shooter? That's a gun I haven't had. I don't have. A little frustrated, Laura continues. Food is the priority here. And we desperately, desperately need it. Oof, and that's a loud bang that makes Laura jump and my heart skip. But if these aren't going to have what we need, we'll move on to the next stretch of buildings. And hope for the best. Delivery vehicle. We could see if anything's in these. Might be worth it. Eh, relatively quiet back here. Now, I think one of my biggest issues is my aggression. And perhaps it's sort of part of my trademark play. Point is, I'm an aggressive player by nature. And I gotta try not to be, but for now, I think we've done a good job at avoiding any conflicts. And we're getting better about picking our fights. But one zombie at a time is really all I want to take out. We'll take out the one leaning against the wall here, and it looks like, at the very least, back here is peaceful to some degree. Okay, well, there we go. We got a little nervous. Almost made a big mistake, but we're okay. Alright, now we start popping doors. That looks like a kitchen. Are we clear, is the question. We are incredibly clear. Uh, let's just check over here. Actually, let's make sure this kitchen is clear before I start worrying about the outside defenses of it. If we, we have a way out over here if we need it. Alright, so the plan is to maybe loot this place from top to bottom. Let's just be sure we're clean. We can't see behind this fence here, so there could be a few stragglers. There's him, but I'm not really worried about one if we're gonna shut that door. Yeah, man, we're looking good. All right, we have a kitchen. This is big. This hopefully will have enough stuff in it. We can snack on something while we're in there. Um, but I'm going to swing in, and then uh, once we're in, we're just going to shut the door. Orange light bulb is not promising first start on the first thing we look to loot. <laughs> Frying pan. Yeah, wow, wow. Two water bottles and an orange soda. I mean, we need water really bad all of a sudden. That's another reason that this is an important run for Laura, because the water situation at home suddenly is done, and we have none. So any water bottles we find are gonna be great for us because we can take them. Uh, unfortunately, some food that's gone bad. No need to take flour or any of that, mostly because we have no way of cooking. We have a generator, don't get me wrong, and we can power our oven, but we only have a limited amount of gas in that generator right now. And do I really want to be wasting it? Uh, I know this is unhappiness and boredom, but I'm going to go ahead and eat the leek. If we're going to eat anything, it's going to be the stuff that's going bad on us. So let's go ahead and power that down, and then we can actually go ahead and eat the cookies to help bring, uh, negate the penalty we just kind of took. It's still a little sad. It's all right. Uh, these all still have a few uses in them, so let's go ahead and drink and fill everything we can. I wish there was soap. Now there could be some cleaning supplies back here for... No, but... Glue is is good. Rope is good. Oh, it doesn't weigh that much. I was expecting to weigh a few pounds, but it must not be that much rope. Now if I come out into the kitchen, what are we looking at? Nobody. Let's check another door. Now, we're going to get tired faster. We're already under a, a fairly heavy load, even though I've reorganized my inventory. I think it's the layered clothing I'm wearing, on top of, obviously, all the other stuff I'm carrying here. Let's eat the ice cream. I don't want to eat the ice cream, but let's just eat it. I want a good full belly, because it's going to let us carry more for a temporary amount of time. And I'm game. Hello, is there more than one? Okay, well, here's the thing. Her banging on that is going to definitely attract some, so what I want to do is pop him first. Come here. And then I will just step on him, or not. I'll beat him with my pipe then. 
And then I will... Oop. There was somebody there, I saw them for a split moment. But this is another kitchen, so I desperately want to get in here. If it's just her... Oh, you see, here's the thing. There's like a whole counter system. It's a coffee shop. It's not like it's much. Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna back out. I don't like... Come on. No, come here. Madam, sir. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. Come on! Sir! My God! I love your- I love your clothes, though. I love the uniform. Truly working that barista lifestyle, and I can appreciate it. Bloody apron. Kinda cute. Okay. I don't know how- how bad it is in there now, so let's swing in wide. And then pop out. Yeah, there's a guy there. They desperately just trying to get in. It's like a server. I'll take the cupcake. I'll take the other cupcake. I'm just I'm just going to quickly hit this. I think it said rotten. We'll look at it in a minute. Back out. I just don't want to be there and it's stressful. It was very stressful. Yep, this is rotten. Drop it on the ground. Pizza. Uh, we're good on that. Pineapple. I don't know. I don't know how valuable these are going to be to me right now, man. Cause I Do I really want to turn on my generator? Just to keep a few things of food cold? I don't know. Probably not would be the answer, you know? Cab. had a try and we're once again under a heavy load so I guess you know what for now let's just keep powering through the fresh food to keep us fed and keep us carrying things that way at least I don't feel like I'm wasting it even though I probably am I left a bunch of cigarettes at home by the way I feel like I don't need to constantly carry all of them I also put them away thinking and feeling like that was going to alleviate some weight and I didn't realize until a bunch of them got put away. So I just kept 60. Okay. See, they sound super freaking close. Oh, that there's a bar. All right, I got both of their attention and got downstairs. I'm hoping they're both still coming. I definitely saw one of them. Let's shout and see if I can get their attention that way. Yep, yep. I knew they came down. Love the chef pants. It's a neat little attention to detail that I really like. Can I get you on the ground? Nope. We're gonna back up. Now we gotta play ring around the friggin' Rosie. Oh, oh! back. That was very dangerous. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. We're just gonna walk, get out of crouch stance, try to pull one further than the other. If I can get them to actually fall over these, I can try and stomp on them. I don't know how come he didn't get stomped on. But that ended up working for us. Just not as ideally as I would have liked. A key to probably the store. Oh, man. What a mess, dude. But if we're gonna get into kitchens and we want to, you know, get inside and... Ideally loot them for all the food that they've got, then this is what we gotta do. The sun's starting to come out. Luckily for us, Fog has rolled in this morning, so the plan is to run up. Try to loot as much as possible, ideally non-perishables, if we can. Okay. Can we please? I 
I'll even take the kitchen knife. I can't tell if they're banging on this window or a whole other one. Ooh, the game just freaking hitched and that worries me. Usually the game doesn't hitch unless it's spawning zombies. Now I'm afraid I'm getting spawned on. I don't know if that actually can happen. If it can, I, I will call bullshit. I need to know where the hell that banging is coming from, my dudes. I think we'll just swing down here. Go out the front door. Call it a friggin' day, my, my mans. Get daddy out of here. We have to, we have to be intelligent. We've got some food, multiple days worth. We can get out of here if we want. We've got some non-perishables and some perishables. The perishables are just gonna go down my throat. At every given opportunity. Because they're not doing so well otherwise. And the more we can fill ourselves, the better off we're gonna be. We can carry more and we can do a little bit of sprinting and the like. Speaking of, let's make sure we keep our energy up by popping some vitamins. Any gas in this thing? No. Can I loot it? Maybe it'll have something in it. Ooh, front door's unlocked. Makes it easy. No key. Oh! In the ignition. Well, there's no reason for us to take it. It looks beat to hell. But, but, we have a key now. And once we start blockading the road to keep ourselves safe, uh, that's going to come in super valuable. Okay. No more sprinting. Actually, because we're going to be not stupid, I am going to pop into this car here and rest before we move. Because I, I, I do want to move quickly. The dog barking is a problem. Maybe we can't. We can only sleep. We can't rest in a car. That feels wrong. Let's grab a chair out here and just sit and watch. Quickly get our stamina back. Put the key on our key ring. We're about a pound over encumbered here. And I don't really know what else I can do to help alleviate it, other than literally moving, just moving things from bag to bag in hopes of that, uh, the weight reduction kicking in. But for now, I just want to get home. It's 9.20 in the morning. She's luckily not tired yet, but we're going to start seeing that soon. So let's just start walking. We should be fine to walk a good distance. So long as we uh, avoid major, major groups of them, the fog should cover most of our approach to home. On our home street, almost safe. We have a few zombies who have at least smelled us. I think that's actually going to be kind of a lingering problem with our dirty clothing is that we're going to be constantly smelling and the zombies have an acute sense of smell a lot of the time. They'll draw them from their hidey holes, though who knows how far it'll actually drag them before they lose me. Especially with how quickly I'm moving and how quietly I move now. And the fog's still helping a great deal. But we have food. I still want to do one more food run, I think, before I'm happy and content with how safe or filled we are. I also left the garage open because I'm dumb. And that could have been a very bad situation if there were any groups of zombies around who felt like getting curious about what's going on. But for now, we're going to be unloading our bags here and making ourselves at home. A generator fully hooked up and gassed, and some food to last us a few more days to not make us worry too much about our current situation. Can't complain too badly. Things are going pretty okay for Laura.